And joining us on the line, a uh, heavily respected investor. We have Mark Faber joining us uh, from Zurich. And Mark, I know it's really late for you, so we really, really appreciate your time. What do you think about this sell-off right now? Well, I don't think that so far it's been a major sell-off. I think uh, we doubled in markets from March 2009 until the high in May of this year. And now, say, on the S&P, we're down 10%. The whole world is panicking. I'm telling you, the world is mad. The investors, they don't understand that markets are volatile and that they have to be prepared to see stocks dropping 30% annually and then rallying 20% annually and drop 30%. That's going to be the pattern. And whoever can't live with that, he shouldn't be buying anything at all. Marcus, John Dawson here. You're saying the world is mad and the market is panicking. Is there a right to panic? Because clearly the U.S. economies could be facing a double dip. Quantitative easing three is being talked about. Is there a good case for panic? Well, I mean, I think there is a case to be ultra bearish about everything. But then you have to think, if I'm really very negative about everything, what do I invest in? government bonds in the U.S., the 10 years yielding 2.4% in a weak currency, or do I invest in uh, cash with negative real interest rates, or do I invest in equities, real estate, precious metals, commodities, collectibles? And I have to say, yeah, equities are going to go lower, whereby as of today, the markets are extremely oversold, extremely oversold, and I think they can rally. But the technical damage that has occurred between November of last year and just recently is enormous. And I don't think we will see new highs for the year. I think we've seen the highs for the year between February and May of this year. Well, you know, we have a lot of panic on Wall Street. So we have uh, VIX, the VIX index, uh, really soaring the most in four years, volume jumping as well. So you see a lot of people putting, you know, a lot of options on the table. Mark, if you think we're going to go lower, I guess I, I got to ask, how much lower? Well, as I said, I think the market is extremely oversold as of today. And I think we can have a snapback rally, say 40, 50 points on the S&P, but no new highs. And I always said, uh, starting February, that the correction is on the way, and that will go down to, say, 1100, 1150, something like this. But now maybe it's not going to happen that we go down to 1100, because I can already smell QE3. And uh, the next few weeks, but or next week, will be important to see whether Mr. Bernanke is really a true money printer or just an amateur money printer. If he's a true money printer, he's going to start <laughs> printing soon. And then the markets will rally, but no new highs, as I said. My father, thanks so much indeed for joining us again. That's clearly a very wise word there from a very respected uh, analyst in the markets again.